What's up guys? This is Ashley Nicole with Geek Plus Magazine and we're back with another series of mentoring business and we want to welcome you guys to our platform just in just interviewing different business owners, different entrepreneurs, getting them ready and them getting us ready to talk about mentoring business. So today I have with me Miss Stacy Wilson and she's with Urban Air Gypsy. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you doing? <laughs> Wonderful. I'm so excited that you're here with us. Thank you. Thank you for the invite. Yes, again, of course, talking about business, talking about mentoring business, and of course, everything that you've learned thus far. We just want the gems. We want everything okay. <laughs> that you can give us. <laughs> I'll, I'll do my darndest. <laughs> so tell me, how did you get started with business? Well, or being I, an entrepreneur, sorry. Being an entrepreneur. Well, before I was, um, before I started with Urban Air Gypsy, I actually lived in China okay. for two years. And so um, I really enjoyed my experience. It was an amazing experience. But one of the things I saw over there, I saw like people doing a whole lot with so little. Okay. You okay. know, it so makes sense. yeah. So even though before I went to China, I didn't really feel like I had the courage to start my own business and get out there and make it work. Okay. But just from being over there and seeing people really be creative and have the courage and the confidence to really just go out there and just make a living made me feel like, you know, with being, you know, being an American and having all these resources available to me, I'm like, well, why am I not doing that? Yeah, so you went across the sea to get inspired. And yes, then when you got inspired, you brought it back here. And encouraged, you brought it back here. I did. And Amazing. so when I um, left um, China, I came here and I said that I didn't want to work in corporate America. And there's nothing wrong with corporate America. Wrong but I just didn't want to. I wanted to um, not have a cap on how much I could make. Love and it. I didn't want anybody telling me like what times I could work or how to wear my hair or what clothes to wear or any of that. I want the freedom to just be me. And the only way that I felt like I could really do that was by starting my own business, you know, with something that I was genuinely passionate and interested about. And that's exactly what happens in corporate America. That's sad that they have us conditioned to that. Mm -hmm. We can't wear this. We can't say this. We can't have this on. We can't look a certain way, you can't speak up, or making you feel restricted. So yeah. I hate that. Um, people have to go through that every day, but like you said, that freedom right. it makes it amazing. Yeah. It makes it better. Right, and you know, I mean, you have to start somewhere, yes. you, you yes. know. And, um, but the thing is, is that a lot of us have like um, talents, you know, and just hidden abilities, things that we're really great at, you know. And even if you just start a little side gig, you know. A little something small, it doesn't have to yeah. be big. People think it has to be big. Exactly, but you know what, you're going to make mistakes, so just start small. Or you can just go big, but know that you're going to make mistakes either way. And don't let the obstacles talk you out of the opportunities that are available to you. So, you know, even though everything may not necessarily be paved out the way you would like it to be, just step out on faith and it's going to all make sense a little bit by little bit. You know, God is going to reveal it to you. And that's the bar. Like, she's literally going into all of our questions. And we appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you so much because she's on it. We, I, didn't I just tell you that? She's on it, giving it to us. And that's what we want. So, first, if you could just tell us Urban Air Gypsy. Tell us. Okay, so real quick. I've had some of the product. I've tried it. The girls have tried it. We loved it. Um, being able to style your own hair is... I don't even want to say the word hard, but it's kind of hard if you're natural. It can be challenging. <laughs> it can be a little challenging, a little hard. I just want to put that out there. Yeah. But it's it gets easier if you have the right product and the right training. Okay. And I think when you have a certain hair um, type or texture, then you know you have to of course be trained and learn how to do that. So I've been grateful to do YouTube videos and of course sending her a video. Of how I was ugly on that video. No, she but did a fabulous job. <laughs> She did an amazing job with her, with her hair. It was but beautiful. I, it was like practice. Thank you. It was practice that I had to go through. My girls are natural, so. <laughs> As you can see, look, you can see this. Now, all of this is gorgeous. But just imagine starting out, and I actually had this much, literally. Okay. I had, okay. you know, I, um, 
it's so weird. I, you know, imagine me being in California, you know, and natural is big in California. I bet it is. Yeah, beautiful. it is. Beautiful. I just got married, and I did not want to spend a lot of time in the beauty um, salons. You know, one, I, we, you know, we were just starting out. We didn't have that kind of money. Okay. And then two, I didn't want to. I didn't want to spend my time that way. I wanted to spend more time with my at that time husband. So I did a bold move. I cut all my hair off to like this short. And I was so, I'm so happy that I did it. Oh, men make us do things. <laughs> well, I'm like, wait a minute. You know, well, it, it was bad. And then also, yeah. too, I wanted to go natural. Gotcha. And so I was really happy that I did it because actually it helped me. It gave me time to learn my hair in increments. And I then mean, the influence. Can you imagine trying to get to know, like, how to style your hair if you have a lot of hair? Oh, like how I did. Like how I did. <laughs> like, I was literally thinking about that when you said it was natural. It was big in California. So it's like it was natural to do that because, like, everybody just walking around with their hair all natural. And you're yeah. just like, oh, okay, well, I might as well get it done. So then you did it. And then thank God because, look. Now we have a business. Right, yeah, but it didn't it didn't happen so smooth like that. Yeah. I mean, but I, I made it sound smooth. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. it sounds pretty smooth. But you know what? It gave me an opportunity to learn my hair, you know, again. I mean it's so weird. I would have to do like little things when I had a perm to get my hair to look like this when I because I didn't even know that my hair could do this on its own. Yeah. And I remember that when you said that as far as like with when you start off, I started off with my hair, it was long, it was permed, it was long, I had to wash it and get the growth off of it. So yes ma'am, I can agree with you when you're saying imagine how it's this big, but that you have to tame it. Yeah, that can be really intimidating, but some people have the fortitude to do that. I just didn't, and thank goodness, you know, my husband was, at the time, he was okay with it. My job was okay with it, oh, yeah, and so, yeah. and I didn't have to invest a lot of money in hair care products either from doing a big chop because, you know, it doesn't take a lot of yeah, product to water. Finish. Couple of little water, little spray bottle. Well, no, it was living my <laughs> oh, I, I think about I think it's so, yeah, because yeah, yeah, you're talking about just it take a little bit more than just water. But and then at some point when it started to grow out and I started to learn my hair, I started becoming more intentional about the products that I use, and okay. that got me in the kitchen trying different things, and that was where it all started. Beautiful. I like that part. Like you said, that's how you literally got into it because of you, your your changes of your again your your atmosphere, your environment. Um, when you think about your business and the adversities that you've had to come into from then to now, what advice would you give any person that's you know facing just small challenges, maybe like getting funding for business, just something small? Well, um, let's see. Getting funding. That's very interesting because. I don't really, I haven't necessarily, I didn't really seek out a lot of funding. You know, I tried to keep things small and affordable for what I could do. So you're saying keep it that way, keep it to where you can afford it, do things that are resourceful. Right, but utilize, okay, so if you're working a nine to five, say, and you're starting a part time gig, you know, save for that business opportunity or get yourself in a position credit wise so that you can go hmm. out there and get a loan from a bank because you know I use credit cards and credit cards typically have like higher interest rate than bank yeah. interest rates so yeah. if your credit is good go out there to the banks first and foremost and then seek a loan with with them or look for different programs because I actually went through a program with them um, with a score Okay. It's called the um, Master Class Series. I did a whole, um, a whole year long program with them. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it was so cool though because are they, local? The, they are local. They are local, and they what score is is I don't know. I'm like. Plug, am I plugging them? You probably are plugging them, but then again, our our audience would like to know. Yes. Um, they're entrepreneurs that we are, you know, catering to, so they want to know about right. any resources that we can give them to be able to go to the next level and thrive and things like that. So, of course, please, shameless plug uh -oh. everybody. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so SCORE basically what they do is they have retired professionals working there. Mm -hmm. um, they don't get paid; they're volunteering, but. I think the thing that makes them a little bit different from the SBA is the fact that they give you a mentor that's um, that's 
talented in specific areas. So say like if I needed somebody for marketing, they're going to give me a mentor that is excellent for marketing. And then I can talk to that person one on one as opposed to some some of the other programs or some of the other agencies that give you a, men, a mentor that supposedly is good in all different areas. I mean, you can be a jack of all trades, but me for myself, I would prefer yes. somebody who has who specializes in a particular area. And so that kind of got me that. connected with SCORE and then I found out about their master class series and the reason why I bring that up is because in completing that class, that set me up in, to, um, to be able to access um, uh, some loans through, uh, through Legacy Bank, which was one of the sponsors for SCORE. And that just sounds like more just financial, all of that, and that's good resources, so thank you for that and then yeah. for anybody that's thinking about getting that part. Um, so go back into, um, of course, the adversity part, because a lot of small business owners, or in this case, a lot of business owners, they get stuck. I mean, I know I've gotten stuck when it's like something challenging, whether it's financial or, I don't know, I really can't just pinpoint just any type of struggles that you would have. How were you able to get through that just with, with Urban Air Gypsy? Well, you know, the, when I think about struggles, I mean, the only, the one thing that kind of came to mind was, um, okay, so um, biting off more than I can really <laughs> chew. But you know what, everything is a learning opportunity. There was a moment when, um, when I actually was, uh, when a, um, a beauty supply, a really large beauty supply that had quite a few stores that were not in the DFW area um, reached out to me and they ordered like a gang of products. Ooh. It was just like, oh my gosh, it was an amazing opportunity. And you know, I'm one of those kind of people, I'm like, I'm gonna, I just jump in and do it. And then at the end, I evaluate it. Like, so, dog, how did I do this? Right. <laughs> myself into. Yeah, I, but I never thought about it like that though, you know, but just being able to, um, to get all those products together, meet the deadlines, then get those products all the way over to the East Coast. Um, and then when I did finally get them over to the East Coast and some of the products were actually sent, we had a shipping problem like, you know, oh my gosh, they did not arrive in good condition. But, you know, it's so weird. You know, it, I handled it like a boss in yeah. terms of, you know, I mean, I, I know this is going to come off as being like... No, it's not. That's how we should be as entrepreneurs. Well, you know what? Okay, so I typically don't eat when I'm working. Like, I, I'll eat at night. And I, I'm not intentionally fasting, but I am fasting. And that, calm, that gives me peace and calm. And maybe that's my superpower is just being calm in those kind of situations. Okay. And so, and also prayer, you know, praying about the situation before, you know, I even got there, you know, praying all the, all the steps through. Um, so by the time I had to talk to the person that was actually purchasing the products, you know, we were able to work everything out. It didn't look perfect, but with the grace of God, it all worked out. So, so I say all that to say, like, you know, you're going to have problems, you're going to have issues, but at the end of the day, you know, it's going to be okay. And just, you know, just pray, you know, and, but, and don't give up. Don't give up and don't be afraid to bite, bite off more than you can chew because worst case scenario, you'll have a great learning opportunity out of it, you know, so with every issue, with every adversity, with every little, that's yeah. amazing. That's amazing. I love that advice because at the same time, it's like, I bet I'm more than I can chew. I bet I made it through. But do it because guess what? You can make it through it too. Yeah. Absolutely. I love that. When I think about being a business owner, like I don't have the resources. Is there any books, any, I know you gave a score earlier, some more things, but is there any like manual? <laughs> is there any like formula? Like what is it that you would would do like the daily routine of you know getting up and trying to work urban air gypsy well i watch a lot of videos on youtube i mean from morning to night i watch a lot of videos and so watch this one on youtube too <laughs> yes yes definitely watch this one so you know i watch a lot of interviews like what do millionaires do how do they construct their you know their mornings what do they do in the afternoon you know how is it that they got you know their success i mean yeah. so 
that kind of helps, you know, I mean, and a lot of the videos will start to sound the same, but at the same time, repetition. Consistency. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So it eventually absorbs, you know, subliminally into your mind. So, you know, it's one thing to see it, then you're going to start thinking it, and then eventually you may start acting on it. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, just Google some videos, you know, like, yeah. you know, the 10 habits of, you know, a millionaire or billionaire or whatever your aspiration is. And no one that I can think of particularly right now that I watch on YouTube, because I'm a YouTube watcher as well, but a lot of those videos that you're saying, like, these are people that, you know, started off, they dropped, I heard this a lot, they dropped out of college. They'll say that, well, I'm a college dropout, you know, because we're, we're not, I'm not saying don't, don't go to school, but I'm thinking about how they took the initiative to just, push that thing and just have the faith like you said earlier so is that what is some advice that you would give for someone that's maybe thinking about quitting school or their job or something like that to start this journey well one thing that i've learned in life is that um you know you're gonna come full circle back to whatever it is that you did not finish so you might as well go ahead and complete it because <laughs> you'll eventually come right back to it like so, I mean, yeah. school, it took me a long time, you know, to graduate because I worked, you know, okay. full time. But it's from and high school or college? From college. Gotcha. Yeah, college. I took my time and, um, and then I paid for school myself and I wasn't really taking it serious in the beginning, mm -hmm. but I finished it. And you know what? I, to be honest with you, I questioned like, why am I in school? You know, like... I don't really necessarily know if this is going to even fit into my future. Like, what am I going to use this degree? And and truth be told, when I even picked my degree, it was like a shot in the dark. I had no idea what I could even do with this degree. But you know what the blessing and all that is? Mm -hmm. My dad would not let me quit. And the blessing is, is that the things that I wanted, I really, truly wanted, I had to have a degree for it. Like, for instance... My degree is in social science. Okay. I okay. always said that I didn't want to work for the man. I wanted to work for a nonprofit. I didn't know that 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 you can use that type of degree for that. For what you needed it for, yeah. Exactly. So it prepared you. Right. And then when I went to LA and I lived out there, it was like I had the the one job that I worked for like ten years. You had to have a degree in order to work there. Then when I went to China, that job required me to have a degree. So it was like. My dad was really on to something by, you know, pushing me and motivating me to stay in school and to finish. You know, at the time, I didn't really see it and think it was really going to be a waste of time and granted a lot of money, you know. It was setting you up, period. Right, but it was setting me up for success, you know, yeah. for a lot of different fun things that I was able to do and that I would not have been able to do if I didn't have a degree. And that's kind of going back to what you were saying earlier, how, you know, you start off doing something and the next thing you know, you're doing the, I guess it's the next level or you know, you're learning other things to do so then you have multiple things going on that you know You can just capitalize off of so amazing. I, I like that part, but that's why you don't give up So yeah. Whatever you do you definitely want to be able to see it through to completion Regardless of whether you feel like you won't use it. Yeah nine times out of ten it's going to be some kind of situation where you're going to utilize those skills for that thing that you thought you weren't going to have any use for. Yeah, and that's cool because when you think about that part um, of the um, going, how it's, it, it brings it, it comes back around. It does. So I love that. I love that because it does. Yes, because like even with um, when I when I wanted to go to cosmetology school, <laughs> look at her. <laughs> right, it was like I wanted to go, but my dad was like, "No, go. You know, you don't really need to do that. Go, go just go to college." So I don't the time, parents want you to do that. Oh my yeah, gosh. you know, and I'm like, it's like, look at Paul Mitchell. There's a lot of people that not that I look at Paul Mitchell. Look at him. Right, he's one individual in a zillion, you know, in a group of a zillion people. But the thing is, is that look at the industry that I'm in now, you know, because it's like I did actually drop out of cosmetology school to finish, you know, college. Gotcha. And so I came full circle back to, to what she's what, what urban agency is, period. Which is yeah. well, I mean, it's not cosmetology, but it, it, it's hair. It's um, it's in the field. It's in your industry. So it's my definitely. passion. It's your, and, my love. and that and that. Oh, gosh. She said a, a, a lot right there because that's where we want to go to with a passion and collaborating. Um, 
I'm gonna follow him and look at it. <laughs> Let me see what we look like. And then I'm gonna add one more question. Well, I gotta give a what's name. Ah, I wanna we see it. We, we look okay. We look good. Yeah, I just wanna make sure that we're, I was still within the frame thing because I, I get to lean it over. Okay. Okay, so. So, when I think about collaborating with different um, businesses, business owners and businesses, you know, in any industry, I think for myself with photography, I've. Whew, I've whatever collaborated and gotten bundles and I've collaborated and gotten well I, I, I'm just a lot of stuff um, how important is it for you or that you know of, of uh, entrepreneurship you know business owners to collaborate and 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 you know I think that's kind of inspirational and lift each other up oh my gosh collaboration is so important I mean, it is it is extremely important because you can only get so much done as an individual. But just think, if you take what your your skills and your talents and your influence and combine that with say five other people <laughs> with their following and their talent and their skill and their influence, just all of that, then I mean, just imagine how much more how much power you guys would have as a group as opposed to. Individual, but I hate to use that soul yeah. food movie. No, no, no. <laughs> Do you remember you that soul food movie where she was like talking about the fingers, but you put them together? Uh, and you have a mighty come on, Miss. Um, <laughs> dang, what was her name? Um, because uh, there's an award show in December with Giles King that we're actually doing media for. It's called the Irma P. Hall Awards. That was her name, oh, that's the actor's you. name, and shameless plug. And she was, um, you're right, she talked about, but, but I think that's just an influence, she's an influencer and that's what, you know, we do as collaborators or in this case entrepreneurs, you get the people that are more influential, like the people on the videos, mm -hmm. on the YouTube videos, and they, like you said, structure something in the mind and then you're thinking about it now, so taking all those fingers and Right, you have a body blow, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, beautiful. we're all powerful together as a unit and yes. we all need each other. Yes, we, we do. We all need each other. I love that part about being an entrepreneur is the collaboration part. I know I created B Plus Magazine for that reason, to be able to push and promote other people and their businesses and their passion because a lot of artists or a lot of people in the industry, they just know how to do their passion. They don't know how to do business. So what advice would you give for an artist, young artist? I don't know if, care if they're a painter, they're a, you know, a poet, um, a photographer, just anybody that, or a, I would say, maybe in your field, maybe a, a natural hairstylist. That's a beautiful art. How do you tell them or teach them about business or mentor them in so many ways? Well, I think, let's see, in terms of business, don't be afraid to take some business classes. Come on now. Right. You know, take some classes. You know, you don't have to necessarily take some classes to graduate with a business degree or get an MBA. Exactly. But, but you can take some classes at the local community college. Um, go to, you know, the SBA or SCORE, you know, yes. and talk to, talk to them, you know, and they're going to give you, because you can get business information anywhere. Um, go to the library, you know, pick up a book, you know, about business. Go to um, you, YouTube. is just so amazing. For I like, love YouTube. Yeah, but, but do it yourself projects. You know, they yeah. can, they'll tell you word for word how they got their business or, you know, how to put structure a business, you know. I mean, don't just take one source, you know, get a combination of sources and find what works best for you because there's always more than one way to get something done. Yeah. So just find the best fit for you. And that's beautiful that you're um, giving that example, like give, do everything. Mm -hmm. Our, we were in media the other day at an event and um, one of these uh, interviewers said that don't be, like you said, don't be afraid to get out there and do do everything that you can do. Don't limit yourself to just modeling or acting. You know, do like a short play or do, I don't know, some short commercials. Just improv. Right. Or just become an apprentice yes. somewhere. You yes. know, find somebody who you feel like, like is um, successful. Talk to them about what it is that you're um, wanting to do. And, uh, and ask them for some advice or even ask them if maybe they have some assistant positions that you can possibly do for pay or mm -hmm. even for, for free. You know, that's basically yes. a really good way to learn. Like internship. Yeah. yeah, internship, exactly. Don't get discouraged. I'll say that as yeah. well because sometimes you'll meet your, you know, Hollywood, I don't know, 
star crush or inspiration and then they come off but they're people i mean i have to stress that like they're only people like us and sometimes they just having a bad day or you know so are you referring to people like that are not so willing they're not willing to share information well you you know maybe not that one time maybe it was just that day like maybe they because i've met um movie stars you know and i'm like hi you know and you're trying to express what you feel when you have saw them on a certain platform but then when you meet that personality that person mm -hmm. then you're like mm. <laughs> they're no longer my favorite tv movie star anymore so that's why i was saying when you were saying that um find somebody that you know um that inspires you uh -huh. They may come off wrong, or you know, the situation, the timing, everything's about timing. Right. So don't get discouraged. Find somebody else. Yeah, find somebody else. I mean, always keep in mind that there is a differentiation between the person and the talent. And I remember yes. T.D. Jakes talking about yes. that. Just because a person is talented in a certain area, like a gospel singer, does not mean that they're a nice person. Yeah. But it's okay because God will provide for you the people that you need. To help you to get to that next level i mean i really honestly i feel completely blessed and feel like this is really my industry because god strategically placed me in places to meet people um that open doors for me to even be in the position that i am right now and if he can do it for me he can do it for you beautiful and you have your own journey and she has her own journey i have my own journey that's our last question as far as inspiration what keeps you inspired like you talked about faith earlier you talked about you know um never giving up and things like that for your business but what is it that's a key thing that maybe you go to daily besides youtube that <laughs> will give you that inspiration and or maybe that's just a routine or i don't know maybe you do yoga i don't know just what is it that you know that keeps you inspired okay well you know there's quite a few things that i'm actually i'm, I'm one of those people like i try I'm not afraid to try something that's not necessarily commercial or conventional. So one thing that I'm recently doing that I feel is um, a great benefit to me is sun gazing. Sun gazing. Okay, so you got to explain to what, what that is because then we're going to stop the video, then we're going to go to Google, and we're going to say sun gazing. So yeah, so there are safe times to look at the sun. So basically, you don't want to look directly into the sun. You want to look at the corner of the sun. For you want to start off in increments of like 10 seconds and each day increase it to increase it until you get to an hour. Hmm. So basically what it does is it activates your penal gland. Hmm. It really does. You can you can literally feel it being activated at some point. When and you, think about that. Like literally what you're saying, and then you majored in science. Social science. Social science. science. With a minor in psychology. But it gives it it helps to um, give you more confidence. It calms you. Um, what else does it do? It gives you more energy. Um, it also helps to connect you spiritually. It's a, you know it gives you a spirit. It's a spiritual connection associated Beautiful. with it. Beautiful. And some other things you guys should definitely Google. I'm gonna try. Amazing. And there's actually a documentary out called um, Eat the Sun because it decreases your okay. appetite. I've heard of that. I have definitely heard of that. Eat the sun. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I know what to Google. So sun gazing, sun gazing, and then eat. Uh -huh. yes. And it's actually been researched by. Um, gosh, I can't remember the guy's name. Like NASA researched this one guy that um, did sun gazing for a certain amount of time just to um, see like what the benefits were. So there are specific scientific you know, research yeah, beautiful. behind the whole concept of sun gazing. And I like that as well. I like to do my own, you know, um, like I said, not being afraid to try things. And then like to do my own research on every single thing. Yes. So I can, of course, be able to not maybe teach other people, but like you said, God gives us things so freely. So, you know, I want to be able to do those things because that should have been my college a long time ago. <laughs> so where, you know, we could, I didn't have, I didn't, I'm not going to start wasting my time. Because like you said, everything comes right back around. It does. So beautiful. Yeah. I love that part. So staying inspirational, um, collaborating with people, um, never giving up, of course, having faith, just jumping out, out there. 
and also biting off more than you can chew. That's right. Urban Air Gypsy has done, uh, I can't say it all, but they have done a phenomenal job. Thank and you. And we appreciate you coming here. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad. I I'm glad. really enjoyed it. It's been an amazing interview. And I appreciate that because I've learned a lot. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I have learned so much. I'm going to go home and um, just, just be able to be more encouraged because that's what we're here to do at Geek Plus Magazine is encourage um, inspire the artist and of course encourage the entrepreneur so i want you to we're gonna do a game yay i like games i mean it's something simple i mean okay. we were, you know it's not gonna like be like real real extreme we did a game the last time we did a game the last time and i wanted to do a different game but i don't remember the name of it so i'm not gonna do that game because i'm gonna mess it up so i'm gonna do this game which is okay. this or that so this or that is just basically taking a couple of, you know, subjects or throwing a word out there and then you just pick out, you know, don't think, don't think, I'll just say it. Okay, okay, I'm going to practice. I'll okay. turn it off. <laughs> I'm going to practice. Red or blue? Blue. Okay, see, that's how, that's how it's going to go. But I really like red, though. So I really was not thinking. That's the artist part of it. Like, that's the artist. Like, we really have, everything looks beautiful, so we don't want to just. Throw everything away. Give it here. We'll we'll use it later. Right? Uh, all right. That's <laughs> Give right. it here. We'll use it later. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Android or iPhone? Android. Okay. Is that because you don't know how to use iPhone? No, I have an Android. Okay. People are people feel like iPhones are the answer, and I have one, and I don't really think it broke up like often. But yeah, okay, I don't know how to use them. Apple, my, um, Maybe that was my pro because I didn't know how to use I them. I don't use none of that stuff when, okay. Um, pasta or hamburgers? Hamburgers, all day. Okay, no, pasta. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, girl. Mm -hmm. Oh my. I don't like a lot of meat. Okay. Well, at least Have you know tried the Impossible likes. Burger? I hated it. How do you hate something that tastes just like a hamburger? I don't like the hamburger. It didn't. I like the pasta better. Okay. Yeah, I'm a pizza You can pasta actually girl. use the impossible meat to make pasta dishes. See, when my do my pasta, look, <laughs> we're getting all into this a whole into another a cooking channel, right? Yeah. So basically, what I do is, no, but uh, my taste was a change, so we'll stick with that part. Okay, um, plane or train? Plane. Okay. Have you ever rode a train? I used to ride it all the time when I used to live in Guangzhou to gotcha. Hong Kong. Well, maybe I should use that. I know. Um, and they're also building a high-speed train. Mm -hmm. You heard about in that? In Texas, yep. Mm -hmm. I'm, I want to ride it, but I want to see what it does in three months first. And then we'll see. What Let it, them work out the bugs first. Uh, we'll see what they do. And then... You smart. Let, let, yeah. Smart. I've always been a person that wanted to try like the first part of everything. Like, okay, this is the first version. I want to do it, but not the dream. Because mm -mm. yes. if something happens, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. So let's do um, uh, Chevy or Ford. 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 Okay. Yeah, because my first car was a um, a '67 Mustang. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Um. Uh, okay. I'll keep it kind of simple. Marvin Gaye or dang it. Or who? I've been. I've. I've. Cause. Uh, okay. I forgot the man's name. I'm gonna do another one. <laughs> I forgot the Marvin Gaye or Teddy Pendergrass. Ooh, Marvin Gaye. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm he's so pull. talented. I'm gonna okay. Yeah, rest in peace. Amazing. Yeah. Rest <laughs> in. Rest in heaven. Chris in heaven. So we have enjoyed this thorough conversation. We have had so much um, resources and inspiration just sitting here. So please be sure to tune into this next season of Mentoring Business because we'll have a panel at the end of the year and we just love to talk to our entrepreneurs about you know what they've learned and how they can mentor other entrepreneurs. So please, please, please stay tuned. We thank you so much for coming, of course. Thank you for the invite. This has been amazing. Uh, you are great at interviewing. You. <laughs> you, you did that. She did I that right. It. She I did hate it. it. <laughs> oh, you wrong for that. I know. Oh, sorry. Sorry, viewers. No, I don't hate it. I just want to learn about business. And I hope you guys do as well. <laughs>
Here at Geek Plus Magazine, we inspire the artist and we of course encourage the entrepreneur. And we hope to see you back again for another mentoring business. Baby, my lover, my lady, all night you make me want you. It drives me crazy. I feel like you were made just for 